Hey everyone and welcome back to This Week in Bone Lab. This episode is going to be a bit different. I have something very special to show you guys. This week, for the first time ever in public, we are going to be showing off a brand new Bone Lab campaign with multiple endings, six levels, and tons of cool secrets. Allow me to introduce you all to The Deep by Max MP3. Max has been working on this map for a fair few months, and I am one of the many few has actually witnessed the development of this. It's been kept extremely quiet on purpose, so that when it releases it'll be a massive surprise and no one will know what the hell's going on. And today we're going to be running through the campaign and showing some of the cool things that it has to offer. And I am also going to purposely miss a few things, so you guys can go and discover them for yourself. Also a spoiler warning, if you do want to go and experience this campaign for yourself, then please do that first, because honestly, it's a brilliant experience. But with that said, why don't we delve into the deep. So this is the first level. It's a bunch of dark concrete rooms and also a reference to this week in Bone Lab. I'm very proud to be this early on in the campaign. Literally in the first room you can find a clipboard about this week in Bone Lab. Thank you so much Max. And no this isn't the reason why I'm giving this an entire episode. I genuinely think this is such an amazingly well-made campaign and I love it. And that's it. That's where the map ends. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just kidding. Take a look up here. What I absolutely love about this campaign is that it's not just another campaign, it utilizes creativity to an absolute new level. Introducing lovable characters which we'll see in just a moment, an amazing variety in different areas, puzzles and challenges which will involve physics, which we desperately need more of in Bone Lab, and just the visuals are brilliant, as well as the soundtrack. You can tell that love and time went into this. And that love really shines, because when you play through this campaign, you really do feel things. You feel super immersed, and you also feel emotion, and you'll understand why in just a bit. So this map gives you a slow introduction into the creatures which this campaign centralizes around, the Wichities. This is a major win for Wichity Corp, and we couldn't be more excited about the potential opportunities this presents for our company. These little worm creatures with glasses on will quickly become iconic in the Burnout community. And this campaign is all about Wichity Corp, a company which is breeding and creating new Wichities, and then disposing of the ones which aren't going to be eaten. A brutal and evil story. And despite how ugly these creatures are, it really makes you connect with them, which is something maps don't do. All the different segments on their body are even physics based, which is super cool. As ugly as these guys are, I kind of feel sorry for them. Whoa! Whoa! No! No! Oh god! Okay. This level even has mini live cutscenes just like that one, showing off Max's potential and definitely makes me hopeful for the future. The introduction to the Wichities is an absolute excellent start, and this whiteboard gives you a very simple and easy rundown of what's going on. Also has some amazing art on it by another artist. I would love to see more large scale mods which have a bunch of different creators involved in them. It really gives us a sense of community and that's what Lava Gang's all about. Oh no! Oh shit! Check this segment out. This is one of the many high intensity parts of this entire campaign. And in this one, a massive wall is about to push you into a pit of fire. So you have to climb up this physics based ladder as fast as you can before it gets you. This moment also comes out of absolutely nowhere, so you never expect it. On top of that, can we admire how awesome it looks? Look at the fire in the background just roaring as you try to climb up the ladder as fast as you can. It honestly feels really intense, especially with the music to match. Oh god! Am I safe? In the second level, you find yourself more actually in Witchity Corp's area. And this reminds me a lot of the campaign I covered a good few weeks ago, Black Town by Stupid Idiot. That definitely had a similar vibe to this one. An extremely long campaign, ram packed with a bunch of really cool stuff. The Deep is definitely now up there with Black Town for me. I love both of them. And here we have one of the physics puzzles slash challenges I was speaking about. Max always incorporates physics into almost everything he makes, and I love it because that's what Bone Lab's all about. The whole physics engine. And I feel like we don't get enough physics driven maps, props, you name it. And then that's a tough jump, because if we, we can't really jump on this thing because uh, the way physics work. Go! Oh god! Yeah, that was close. Nice, that's a cool puzzle. I love puzzles that utilize physics like that. That guy's still alive, by the way. Now that variety and level that I was talking about comes in in this next area. We drop from the office room kind of area straight into downpour from the Binding of Isaac. Yeah, this sewer area is a reference to the Binding of Isaac, and if any of you have played that game, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, the visuals. Now we have a super cool water shader on a bunch of stuff. You can also find Isaac himself down here, which I think is pretty funny. 
This campaign is so uniquely weird, but yet it fits into Bone Lab so perfectly. It was honestly just made for this game. It's like a little baby. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? Oh! And check out this secret room that has some of my artwork in it. I bet you can't find it. This map has a bunch of different secret rooms hidden around the different levels. And they're super fun to find and always have chill music in the back. My challenge is for you guys to try and find them all. Another one of the high intensity segments is this part where the water starts to rise as you have to climb up these ladders as fast as you can. These intense moments always absolutely come when you least expect them. And that's what makes them so crazy as you have to act fast. This makes me really wish there were more live kind of segments in the actual vanilla Bone Lab campaign. I've only just noticed that that's something that's not been done very much. Whoa! Oh my god! One of my favorite parts of the entire campaign is this super chill shop. I had some really nice times in here in Fusion. And even by myself, the music here is just absolutely chill. And it just hits me with this certain feeling that I just can't explain. Not to mention here we get a new creature, this green dude. His eyes are physics based. The longer and longer you spend in the campaign, the more you connect to these poor creatures and feel sorry for them. Or maybe you completely hate them still. And this will ultimately decide your ending. Find the two keys in one minute or you die? Quick. This is the third unexpected tense moment, and in the middle of all this, you even find a new creature. I love the designs of the creatures, and they're all just so stupid looking, it's amazing. I'm a massive fan of stuff like enemy designs in video games, so I instantly fell in love with these little weird creatures. Look at this little creature. And here's another poster I did for the map. Quite proud of this one. And this machine right here is 100% something that I want to point some attention to. This machine gives you a unique way to unlock some different creatures. And a shout out to Bugobug for creating the logic for this machine. You actually need a witchity coin currency to be able to put in the machine to purchase one of these creatures. And there's one nearby this area, I'm not going to say where though, it's up to you to find it. You can also flip the witchity coin which is super satisfying. And here's an example of me buying this creature. As much as I love finding super hard capsules, this is just such a good way to get the player to get capsules. Press that. And there we go. Here's physics getting demonstrated to the extreme. These ginormous pistons slam down onto these conveyor belts, and because they're so heavy, it actually stops the conveyor belt from moving forward. Physics, people, physics. We need to give more examples of this in Bone Lab mods because it's just so awesome. The next thing to absolutely gush about is the reflections on this floor. Look at how good this looks. I'm only playing on medium settings at the moment, so when you turn this to ultra, oh my god, it's just splendid. And now we enter the first boss battle. Yep, just what any good campaign needs, that's boss fights. See what I mean when I say this feels like a real true campaign? Hello? Oh no. Look at the reflections on this place, it looks sick. And after this, you get basically launched straight into your next boss battle. Once again, a very unexpected thing to do, and that's how this mod keeps you on your toes so well. Press it. Oh no. Where the fuck am I? This thing. I guess there's only one way to find out. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Well, that 
was certainly something. Hatch four. Fuck out of here. Get me out of here. That's what I have only one duty. Oh my god, it was a fucking cloning device. And so it's time to make the decision. Do we spare the Witchedies or kill them all? After everything we've been through, I think it's only fair that we save them. Thank you, Max, for this amazing, amazing mod. I've absolutely loved it. And to finish the episode off as we ascend into the heavens with the Witchedies, I want to tell you guys that this mod will be releasing alongside this episode of This Week in Bone Lab. That's right, The Deep is out to play now. And which ending will you guys choose? I'll see you in heaven, or maybe in hell, and I want to thank you all for watching. And by the way, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers, I can't believe we've made it this far, and this map is a wonderful way to celebrate that. Download The Deep today by MaxMP3, and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. Gunner Dahan, Ten Tickles, Zeromatic, Pie Lover, Mizzy Keen, Dank Mean Boy, Purge Fly Fox, Judger and Chris, Ninja Gamer, Fernando Yurista, Oddo, Sage of Kindness, Flamzy, Carl's Tunes, Mystery, Leal Doe, The Best EV, Flipper Flopper, Sardellini, PS King, Gamer Tin Can Endure, Fancy Man, Frosty the Beast Star, Yoshi Cooper, Valley 08, and Vexy. You guys are all absolute legends.